My name's Colum and I'm working on Kadu. I've been a runner since about my sophomore year of high school. And one thing I know about running and fitness in general is to get fit, you have to commit. You have to be working on running every single day for 365 days a year, just basically showing consistent progress. And if you're not showing consistent progress, you're not doing it right. Apps like Strava do a great job at tracking your progress, but they're not gonna be your motivators. They're not gonna be the app that gets you up at 6 a.m makes you put on your running shoes and actually wants to go out there and run. And Kadoo is this app and we do it with financial incentives. On Kadoo, users join a challenge. Challenges cost anywhere from $5 to $100 and have a fitness goal like running 15 miles this week or walking for 30 minutes a day. Each challenge is verified with apps like Strava, Fitbit, iOS Health, apps that are great at tracking your progress and winners get their money back plus money from the losers evenly redistributed to the challenge winners. We've launched in March of 2020, and so far, we've done over $10,000 in challenge joins. We get about $100 in deposits um, per user per month. We've done about $250,000 in total GMV or transaction volume. We take a 20% fee from losers before this money is evenly redistributed to the winners. And this comes out to 2.5% of an, an average take on our GMV, because we do get quite a bit of winners on our app. Our app does work. And last month, we did 2.3K in revenue, and we've done 5.6K since our launch. We also get good retention. Out of people that have paid to join a challenge, 99% of them stick around every single week. And every single month a user is retained, we get a $10 increase in spend from each user. Over 300 million people use our current five integrated fitness platforms on a monthly basis. 74% of Americans use one fitness app and the market is $4.4 billion, growing at 20%. And that's Kadu. If you want to check me out, email me at kadu.io. Check out our website, and I'm happy to answer any questions you have. Yeah. Okay. So let me just make sure I understand how it works. So a user is going to contribute, you know, 100 bucks a month into the pot, so to speak. And there, it's sort of like paramutual that people who hit their goals get paid or win, and the people who don't hit their goals lose. Yep, not necessarily per month, but per challenge. So if you commit to a challenge where you have to, you're tasked with running three miles this weekend, you're gonna uh, pay the entry fee, which would be $20. And if you actually run three miles this weekend, record it with Strava, you get your money back plus money from the losers distributed to the winners. And, and you do this with uh, like the whole world or just your friends or? Um, so a big thing we wanna do is eliminate trust. And we think we can do this with, apps that are great at tracking your progress, like Strava, iOS Health, Google Fit. So anybody in the world can compete with each other, complete strangers, and it's all verified with these apps that are great at tracking. And um, and how, how do you decide what the challenge is going to be? Does each user decide their own challenge or, or you, you set the challenge? We're building that right now, but for the first thousand challenges on Kadoo, um, they've all been hosted by us. Um, in the future, users will be able to build their own challenges on our app. Okay, got it. Got it. Okay, it's interesting. My poker crew would, would use this to set challenges for each other. We've kind of done these like um, weight bets. You know, like you'll basically bet somebody like a large amount of money that they can't lose whatever 20 pounds or whatever the, the, whatever the weight is. <clears throat> Jamath and Jake Cal had a, had a bet like this we've talked about on the pod. Um, so I guess the, the question is just like, how big, how big can this really get? Well, I'd like to de describe like our target user, somebody that's serious about their fitness goals and yeah. wants to actively become a better runner, a better cyclist in the future, maybe better, stronger and doing body weight workouts, et cetera. And Kadoo is really the place for anybody that is just serious about themselves. Because ultimately when you do a bet like this, you're putting money down on yourself and you're committing to your own fitness goal. So I think we can capture a big portion of, you know, 300 million users that use our app and a big portion of the fitness app market. Um, I don't have a specific figure in mind, but for like the long-term vision, it's more brand definition than anything else. I think there's a big lack of the space where, you know, somewhere where people are serious about their goals can go and actually, you know, show that they've committed and they've done what they said they're going to do. And I want Kadoo to be this app. Mm -hmm. And did you ever think about doing like a, like a SAS fee instead of, a, instead of doing like a take rate? Like yeah. So just to pay you five bucks or 10 bucks a month to, um, to be able to create challenges as opposed to having to take a, you know, a, a take on the, 
on the money and the challenge? Um, definitely, you know, more generally, I think it's going to be better for us to monetize our winners rather than monetizing our losers. Um, one, it makes us more aligned with like getting our users to win challenges. And then two, 90% of our challenges are challenge wins, not challenge losses. So we'd be monetizing a lot more money that goes through our app this way. So whether that's a SaaS fee or whether that's building out a referral um, store where you can buy memberships to various bootcamp or Peloton um, right through the Kadoo app itself, um, as long as we're monetizing our winners, I think that's a better way to go. And that's something we're going to push for. So, but you did, uh, you said 2,300 in revenue last month. Is that right? Uh, 2.3K in revenue. So that's $2,300. Yeah. And how many users was that? Um, so we have 450 paying users and last month we had 275 active users that paid for a challenge. Okay. Interesting. Um, and what, what do most of the fit the underlying fitness apps, the, the five that you're integrating with, what do they typically charge? Um, so a lot of them are on freemium models. Strava is free to use and record. Um, they have Strava premium, which gives you more detailed analytics. Um, Garmin, I mean, you have to, you know, buy a Garmin watch to use Garmin um, and same for Fitbit. But I think generally what we're trying to integrate with is just apps with that have a large user base and that um, are also good at tracking progress. Okay, got it. Okay. And then retention. Have you, have you looked at churn on a monthly basis? You're showing it kind of weekly. We've done weekly so far. Um, we had trouble, you know, getting long-term data from Firebase and Google Analytics. It's something we've just set up. So we're definitely going to be looking at monthly more often, but um, I'd say typically, you know, users that stick, it's about 75% of the users that join challenges will join at least one challenge that month. And we've seen that consistently since launching. Okay. Awesome. Thanks so much, David. Yeah, good. Thanks. Thank you. When you see people doing something, um, maybe the early adopters, whether it's your poker crew or um, people using scripts to link files between um, two computers before Dropbox or, I don't know, people making matcha lattes before it was cool. Like often you see small pockets of people doing something and then someone productizes it. Um, uh, you know, to what extent do you think this falls into that bucket? Um, or maybe even a more interesting question is how do you tease out when it's just a niche thing that like Jamal right. does in his poker group versus the beginning of say a very large trend? What you tend yeah. to use. It's a, it's a good question. And for me, the answer just kind of comes down to feel. Um, I do I do think that like the Chamath J. Cal weight challenge feels like, uh, like a very idiosyncratic thing, not like a super common thing. Um, but maybe the idea of creating challenges, I can see that being like their specific like weight bet, I think maybe was pretty idiosyncratic, but I can see the idea of like challenges particularly with friends. I could see people doing that. I'm not sure about the financial component though. I mean, do people, can people create challenges in the app without their, them being monetary? Uh, yeah, so currently we're hosting all the challenges, but it's something we want to include. Um, so yeah, you have the option to create a free challenge once we add this feature in. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, I just, I don't know how like mainstream creating money challenges around, um, around fitness goals is. I mean, That's I could quite, be like proven wrong, but. Um, Colm will work hard to prove you wrong. Um, we'll <laughs> move on to the next one. Uh, thank you, Colm. Yeah, thank you.